Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Sacramento Local Agency Formation Commission meeting dated December 5, 2018. Uh, I, uh, the, uh, like to call this meeting to order and if the clerk will please call the roll. Thank you. Commissioner Peters. Here. Frost. Here. Harrison. Jones. Here. Thank you, we have a quorum. Okay, thank you. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. This meeting of the Local Agency Formation Commission is cablecast live on Metro Cable 14, the Local Government Affairs Channel on Comcast, Consolidated Communications, and AT&T UVerse. The meeting is also webcast at sacramentometrocable.tv. Today's meeting will be repeated Monday, December 10th at 6 p.m. and Wednesday, December 12th at 6 p.m. on Channel 14. This meeting is also closed captioned. We ask that you please turn off any cell phones or noise-making devices. Speaker slips are located on the table in the back of the room and on the front podium. Please fill them out and hand them to the clerk, Diane Thorpe. Thank you. And at this time, I will open for public comment from the floor. And I do not have any speaker slips, and I do not see anyone waving their hands anxious to speak. So. I'll close uh, public comment. Madam Clerk, please uh, read the first item, please. First item is our consent calendar, and before you, you have a update to the meeting minutes as requested. Um, so that's item one through three. Move the consent item, calendar. Second. Okay, uh, moved by Director Peters, seconded by Director Jones. Uh, please vote. And that's there it goes. And all in favor, thank you. Okay, thank you. Next item, please. Next item is item number four, the fiscal year 1718 annual financial audit report. Just real quickly this evening, we, we did complete the annual audit. It came back clean and uh, that's always good news. One recommendation uh, that we are in the process of uh, implementing right now is to kind of fortify our paper paper trail. So we're developing an Excel spreadsheet program to track uh, invoices as they come in and the timing and turnaround of getting them paid and also uh, deposits or any other uh, uh, project related to the assessments, that sort of thing. So we can track and have it pretty much at a glance the uh, uh, to the minute f fiscal standing of the commission. So that was a recommendation of the audit. We agree with it and we're in the process. We should have it up and running by the first of the year. With Very that, good. I'm happy to answer any questions. Any questions, comments? Item. Do we, this is just a report? Oh, receive and file. Receive right. and file. Okay, and so next item, please. Next Thank item you. is item number five, appoint public member and alternate public member commissioners for term 2019 through 22. So my understanding is that we will, we need to uh, nominate the chair and then um, the vice chair would wait until January, is that correct? This is the public member edition. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I'm right. sorry. Uh, on the public member question, I, I think we, we've gone through the subcommittee process. We did process uh, or review the because subcommittee in, reviewed and interviewed the three candidates who applied. There is a recommendation for two of those candidates to be one appointed as the uh, primary public di public uh, member and one as the alternate public member. It does require an affirmative vote from one of each category of the commission, the county, cities, and special districts. Okay, so can we um, maybe We'll skip do you want to continue come back to it, it, or do you want to come back to it I, uh, I, I agree. later? Me, no, let's see if we can revisit it with, in the event we have a, a, a commissioner arrive. I think we'll have someone any minute, so 
Okay, then let's uh, move on to item six. And item number six is the chair and vice chair appointments for calendar year 2019. Okay, so. Uh, this, just, just briefly, uh, the commission some time ago in 2007 established a, a, a standing rotation of the chairperson and the vice chair, and that's been adhered to with, the, with one, one time exception a couple of years ago. So following that rotation would be the county seat to be uh, put into the chair and the representative for the city of Sacramento uh, would be the vice chair on that, following that rotation. So it's a decision between the, the, the county reps who would, would want to, I, the vice chair move forward as the chair or. Can we vote on this without a city member here? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, I'd move uh, Supervisor Sue Frost for chair. Okay, do we have a second? I'll second. Okay, uh, moved by Director Peters, second by Director Jones. Uh, please vote. And uh, unanimous with all present. And so I suppose I will be the chair next year and I'll try and do a good job. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And so do we, I don't think we know uh, who the city people are going to be till January, isn't it? They that? make the appointment in January. So you could just affirm that it would be the incoming city representative would, would take that seat. Okay. So we'll move that the in. Yes, I think that that is a per permissible. We don't have to have it here. Correct. That's what he just said, that we appoint the whoever it comes from the city. Mm -hmm. And I'll second the motion from the individual. Yes. I'm sorry. I, it, you're, are we? You make the motion to continue. Have the incoming. Yes, I did. And I'll second. I'm sorry. I was talking. I'm the chair, and I was talking. What was the motion for? <laughs> Move that whoever is appointed by the city of Sacramento becomes vice chair. They're not. They're, they haven't. They don't appoint till January. Oh, we so we can don't do know that? who it's going to be. Yes. Without them present. Correct. We're okay. not designated a specific person. Okay. Um, so moved by Director Peters and seconded by Director Jones. Please. And do we need to vote on that, or do we already vote? There we go. Here we go. Please vote. Okay. Close on display. Uh, and I'd like to acknowledge that Ron Greenwood is here, and he had not voted on that matter. Right. So, just move on. He can vote for the next item. Okay. Here. He, Where is he here for the? Clear the screen and start over. We cleared it before he had a chance to vote. So. Okay. So enable voting. There we Please go. Please vote. Same. Uh, same. Yes. Unanimous with all minute. those there present. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And uh, next item, please. Next item is item number seven, City of Galt annexation of the industrial park expansion area. <laughs> this project is for uh, give or take 230 acres, sparsely developed, some developed, some scattered rural residential as well as uh, some developed uh, light industrial manufacturing. It's on the north boundary of the city of Galt, uh, tucked in between the uh, rail lines on the west and Highway 99 on the east. Uh, it's within the sphere of influence of the city of Galt. The city did exercise their responsibility to pre-zone the territory. That made them the lead agency for CEQA. They, they put together an initial study and a mitigating negative declaration that we, we reviewed and commented on. That's what your, the, the environmental documents uh, you're, you're relying on for your actions this evening. Uh, it, it's, uh, it is inhabited. There's about uh, 30 plus hmm? registered voters in the area. Uh, we have not heard any protests from anyone, but we do recommend, or I do recommend that you designate myself as the conducting authority to hold the, the protest hearings uh, after the 30-day reconsideration period. We've, we've heard no, no uh, uh, concerns expressed by any affected agencies. The city and the county have adopted or uh, 
property tax exchange agreement that runs in perpetuity. Uh, the city and the county have also had side discussions and come to agreements of how to address operations and maintenance for streets <coughs> that are on the edge. The, the, the boundary, the proposed boundary goes to the center line of those streets. So that's not, that's in place on the other edge streets for in the city of Galt as well as most of the cities in the county. Uh, with that, I'd be happy to answer any questions, the recommendations for approval. Okay, thank now, you, and I, I apologize would, for being late. Any questions? I would questions? like to mention that uh, Chris Arias, the planning director from Galt, is here for any questions you have. I recognize him in the audience there. Good to see you, sir. Thank you. Uh, any questions for yes. the, yes. I do have a question. I know this is an accusation about office and industrial property, but in reading the demographics report, it kind of jumped out at me that it refers on page five that there's 7,453 housing units in 2010 and vacant housing units 1,960, which is like a 28% vacancy rate. Is that a typographical error or am I misunderstanding that? I think that says that data. You have to come to the microphone, please. I, the, the, this day, I'll refer to the city staff for the data. Yeah, Chris Arias, Community Development Director for the City of Galt. I want to thank you for uh, hearing this item tonight. That, yeah, I, that figure is in error. There, that might have been from 2010. Uh, if you look at, uh, I think the date when this uh, data was collected was from that time period. But even then, that seems extraordinarily high. Right. So. Our vacancy rate is extremely low. It's actually very difficult to find a vacant home in the city today. Uh, we have very few vacancies, so that is not correct. Great. Thanks for clarifying that. That's okay, any other questions, uh, either of the city representative or of our executive officer? Okay, seeing none, thank you. Any members of the public wishing to speak on this item? No, okay. Uh, any uh, deliberation or direction and or a motion? I'll move the item. Yeah, just a quick, do we have to open and close the public hearing on this to be official? It, it is, yes, we do require a public hearing. Okay, uh, so I will open the public hearing, uh, open public comment, uh, close public comment, close the public hearing. I have a motion from Commissioner Peters. Is there a second? I'll second. Seconded by Commissioner Greenwood. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, we, we voted on the okay. screen. Passes unanimous. If we could know that we have a member from each of the representatives circle back to item number five. Okay. Which is the appointment of the public member and the alternate public member. Briefly, this, I, this item is the, the uh, current public member, Commissioner Harrison, has expressed his interest in greener pastures. So we've uh, we po we posted this uh, this opening. We received uh, uh, three applications. You know, the commission directed or formed a subcommittee to review and nominate the, or excuse me, review and interview those nominees. That was accomplished, and uh, going forward, the recommendation of the of the subcommittee is uh, that Chris Little, the, pr the, the current alternate to the commission, be approved or into the public member full-time position, and Timothy Murphy to the position of alternate public member. Uh, the, the, this, this does uh, war warrant public testimony in the event that the commission wants to open that. Uh, okay, very good. I will open public comment. Is there anybody wishing to speak on this item? No? Okay. We'll close public comment. Uh, as was mentioned, the subcommittee does have a recommendation. Is there a motion? Move committee's recommendation. All right. I have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Commissioner Harrison. All those in favor say or I mark. Aye. And it passes unanimously. Congratulations. Always the bride made. Now you're the bride. <laughs> Okay, now I guess we will move on to questions and announcements, starting with the executive officer. I, I have no questions or comments at this time or announcements other than uh, wishing everyone a, a happy holiday. Very good. In that case, we'll move to uh, comments or questions from the commissioners. Yeah, Commissioner Peters. I wanted to thank Jack Harrison yeah. for his service on this board. Um, thank you. 
always asking a lot of uh, important questions and uh, always prepared and we'll miss you. I hope to put you in use in Carmichael more. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, to reiterate, same. Thank you very much, Jack. Appreciate your service and your work and your interest. Thank you. Yes, I would uh, thank you as well, and it's been a pleasure serving with you, and happy to ride off into the sunset together and enjoy other roles. Uh, toward that end, is this my final meeting as well, or do I have to come back uh, at the February meeting? Your, your, your term expires with the end of the year. Uh, the city of Folsom will make an appointment in the month of January. Our, uh, our clerk has notified the, uh, the city clerk that that position needs, that appointment needs to be made for the city of Folsom. So okay. this is your last meeting. So I guess we thank you, yeah. too, for your well, service. Yeah. Yeah. Having just slogged 45 minutes to get here, I will say I'll miss serving with all of you, but I uh, won't miss coming downtown at heavy traffic. So, <laughs> Ch Chair, if I may, also, I, I'd li also like to thank uh, Jack for his service. Uh, yeah, I, I want to also um, agree that uh, his comments and his understanding, his intuitiveness and insight was really valued here. And I think we appreciate your time that you spent with us. Thank you. And also, uh, Chair uh, Hume, I also want to thank you very much for the great year you've had, and, and thank you very much for all that. And finally, I have to conclude with I apologize for my being late, too, because I also had 45-minute drive, but uh, glad I made it. Yeah. And I, uh, if it's all right, I'd, li I'd just like to say that um, it's been a pleasure to work with both of you on this board. I hold hold both of you in very high regard. Appreciate all that I've learned from all those questions. And um, I also want to congratulate Chris Little, who I've known for years and who I know is a really smart um, individual who will um, represent well, the public well on the board. And so congratulations, Chris, on the appointment. And I'm excited that you're going to be there. So. Yeah, I'd like to say I appreciate the camaraderie and uh, the support from the commission. I appreciate it. I've learned a lot. I appreciate the staff, the support uh, at times was very helpful. So thank you for the opportunity. I learned some things along the way, met some new friends. I learned some things about Elk Grove and areas I didn't know that much about before. So I have a broader grasp now, I think, of the region and what's happening with uh, land use issues. So it's been a good experience, and I'm happy to step aside and let someone else enjoy it. So Chris, I wish you the best and thank you for being my alternate. Well, thank you so much. And also in looking at the notes on one of the items that I missed, congratulations to Commissioner Frost on uh, coming into the center square. So look forward to that. I'm excited. Thank you. All right. I believe that brings us to closed session. Correct. Um, we have hearing room one reserved if you'd like to go there or we can go in the back. It's up to you. Okay, well, we're going to uh, move into closed session, and I don't believe we'll have anything to report out. No. Are we going to the back? Closed session?